Great show tonight. All right. Uh, just two questions for Christian, but one for you, George. Um, you had Ralph Moss on once before about alternative cancer therapies. Yes. And you should next time you get him on there, ask him about Lawrence Burt, who did a lot of work here at St. Vincent's in New York City. He came up with a cancer therapy that Lawrence Burt did. Okay, I sure will. Yeah. But the two questions for Christian are, um, I have a family member with heart issues, and I've been looking at the hands external counterpulsation, which is abbreviated EDCT. Yes, I know a lot about also chelation therapy. Okay. For heart. Uh, do you have any comments on either of those? I do. Did studies on it. The EDCT is now FDA approved, and the National Institute of Health did a two-year study on chelation and found diabetic patients with heart disease had a 50% reduction in heart disease or heart attack, rather. Well, you couldn't get them to make that commitment uh, 20 years ago. No, not at all. They, they didn't, but I will talk to you about uh, EECP, or EEP is what it is. Uh, how bad is your, your condition? Uh, well, she had double bypass. You know, she's pretty stable right now, but, you know, with the stents, and she's getting ESRD, end-stage renal disease, you know, to this, she's got, I mean, you were talking about the uh, stents growing over. You know, they put a chemical in there that can affect the kidneys to prevent them from clogging, and she's got, like, seven stents. Mm. And, you know, it's, uh, turmeric is on the chart, you know, on things to do here, and the nephrologist is pretty much, you know, go ahead and go for it. Sounds okay to me. Uh, she's with a, she's dealing with the kidney failure? Yeah, yeah. The problem with dialysis, you know, but uh, she's pretty stable. I mean, when you said she has heart condition, what specifically is it? Blocked artery? Well, she had, yeah, she had um, double bypass. Mm -hmm. How long ago? Uh, about two years ago. And she's doing well? Yeah, she's pretty stable there. I mean, she's still going. Is she strong enough for uh, the EEP? The, I think she is. And, but I mentioned to a cardiologist, and, you know, he doesn't really know too much of it. And um, I told him St. Francis here in New York City is the top 10 heart hospital in the U.S. Well, I've had friends yeah. go through it. Uh, I had one friend who they wouldn't do anything for him. And uh, he went to his insurance company, and they said, no, it, it's $10,000, and it's probably not going to help you. And I talked to him, and I said, go back and tell him this. And he did. And they said, okay, we'll do it. Well, now he's had three treatments. What it is, for your listeners, George, is it's a way of forcing tiny collateral arteries to be built around your blockages. Just growing That's, your own arteries. Yes, it is. It's putting, like, they look like uh, capillaries, little tiny ones. Cuffs on your legs. In your thighs. And you need like 30 treatments or something, yeah, right? Yeah, you do. I think, yeah, yes, you do. Or you can do, you could double them up an hour a piece and make 17. And what it does is it 